all the haters out there that say we don't know how to do it. I got the best team in the world that's gonna prove you wrong and show you just how good we are. What's up guys, I'm Justin Swanstrom. Welcome back to another video. We are back up here in Mooresville, North Carolina. We're at Justin's shop, Modern Racing, where the guys are getting the car completely knocked out for the first race of Street Outlaw Doe Prep King season four. We got the invite, we're officially a go. We're about to put the car on the dyno this week. We're gonna be testing next week. Hopefully everything goes good with Petty, everybody on board, so we're able to leave and head to Ohio. I come back up here because one, I gotta get the car, take it home, but two, I need to get fitted for a poured in seat um, and the head pads that go around the helmet just in case something was to happen. You don't smack the roll cage, uh, get knocked out inside the car. We also have a color on the car. We are going to be going over and showing y'all the color that we went with. We had some sponsors come on board shout out to uh them whenever i get all my sponsorships and everything on for the logos we will be making a video directly for the sponsors showing who's all on board with this thing we had a lot of great companies come on board but a few more came on we were able to get this thing wrapped justin and the guys up here at the shop they told me they said we're not letting you leave the shop looking like this you got to get this car wrapped i said well mike's out in florida i don't have nobody up here they said let me handle it so while i was gone they wrapped the car i'm looking at it it looks awesome uh there's some spots where it needed body work and everything but we ran out of time we needed to get a one single color on this car they're coming tomorrow to be able to throw the logos on we are putting a swan gang logo on the car i think y'all are gonna really like it y'all are a part of this build you've been part of it the whole time uh, I appreciate each and every one of y'all that's buying up the merch that's helping us be able to keep growing and keep doing what uh, I have going on. I'm living my dream and it's only going to get bigger. But I just wanted to go ahead and uh, let y'all know that we will have fire in the pipes here in about 24 hours. All right, guys, so a lot's changed since I've been here a week ago. All the wiring is in the car. They're finishing up some airlines and everything right now. It will be all a little bit cleaner, but if you can look inside here, there's really no wiring showing. All the wiring is inside this box right here. So all you do is, is you turn this power switch on and you hit your button and that allows you to be able to know that you have power inside the car. When you wanna shut it off, you hit your button again it shuts it off and then you turn your power switch off but five speed is up inside the car we got the converter in we had to do some deals we had to shim some things we had to get stuff ready uh, there was some stuff that we had to cut off of here so we're getting that all cleaned up we had to grind down on the powder coat get some things changed around but uh, it's coming together nicely but the best thing i like about justin and them and i've said it from the get-go is the wiring check this wiring out very very nice it goes to the back of the uh fuel tech 600 over there we'll get to that in a minute they got to put the seat in i got my brand new seat belts in we'll be throwing those in as well drive shaft is here enclosure this thing's going to be going together fast uh and in a hurry to be able to get this thing put on the dyno outside here you can see all the wiring goes to that one little piece right back here right there you take you take that off the firewall and the whole entire engine and everything comes out. All the EGTs are in down here. These are the EGTs right here. We got uh, spark plug wires, throttle is done. They are coming here tomorrow to run the fuel and the oil lines, and then that will be complete. We also got the brakes on. I can tell you what, having Justin and them do all the brakes and putting everything on, I've never had a wheel spin this freely. Look at that right there. Dude, that's that's amazing so it's all coming together it's coming very fast i can't wait to go out see how everything works we got our trans brake we got our line lock and we got our parachute button right here we got our uh, toggle switch that's for the liberty and we got our up shift button over here so we can shift through the five gears but it's all it's all coming together well the rear end's in the car 
Everything is uh, in. We have to go through. We have to set up the four link. We haven't done none of that yet. Wheelie bars are on. Check out carbon fiber wheelie bars back here. We had to uh, cut out some clearance. A little extra clearance back here for the wheelie bars. Got the parachutes. If you haven't seen it by now, you know the car is white. Go ahead and just show y'all. We have logos and stuff coming. But it, it looks killer. We're gonna throw the door on here in a minute so you can see that. You got the front end over here. Yes, we have a grill and headlights on the way. We just had to custom make it, so we weren't able to get it in in time. Uh, to be three weeks before we get the grill and the headlights inside uh, on prenup to be able to show y'all, I guess, the factory look. I'm, I'm liking the look. I'm actually gonna put a picture up of a car that you see going down the interstate, and then you can see prenup. It, it looks identical. Uh, the guys did a phenomenal job with the wrap. Black inside for the pro charger hole. Everything is all wrapped up. It's looking great. We're gonna throw the door on. Check out the door and everything does need to be clean, but got the big old swamper tires. We need to go ahead and get them bad boys on there. But look at that thing. She's starting to look like a car boys. She's looking mean. She's ready to go testing. See what we can do with her. Check out the carbon bars hanging out the back. God, Lee, this thing's gonna be nice. Can't wait. Everything then, got my fresh air bottle, CO2 bottle running off everything. That's gonna control uh, the Liberty, the gears changing. It's also going up to control the parachute valve back there and the parachutes in the rear of the car. Uh, one thing I did wanna make sure we did, we this car had a sunroof. It comes factory with a sunroof. I was afraid that we would go into a tire shake or something happened and the glass break on me. So we put a piece of a uh, steel piece in there and uh, got it all mounted in but the guys that were wrapping the car, they went and did their homework. I didn't even know they did this, but they went and did their homework and they said, don't this car have a sunroof? And it dawned on me, I said, yeah, it does. So they said, well, let's make it look like there's a sunroof inside the car. So that's what they did up here. They made it look like there's a sunroof. It's a whole solid roof, but they made it look like there was. And dude, it looks awesome. It matches the windows and everything. Whenever we get it all put on, uh, which will be tomorrow, uh, we'll be getting everything put together, the doors on, the front end, and we'll be setting this bad boy on the ground. I'm telling you, I can't wait to go out there and let this thing rip. I'm, I haven't been this excited about a race, a season, or a race car. This car is officially built for me. We're going to see what it can do. Cameron Johnson and the guys, they built me a great car. Justin and them up here at Modern Racing, they are getting me 100% ready to go to the racetrack. We're not going to have to do nothing. We're going to get it back home. We're going to uh, finish organizing the trailer. We're going to drop all the oils after the dyno session. We're going to show you all what we got to do to maintenance it uh, to get it ready for a race. And we're going to be testing next week. And hopefully testing goes good. And we're on to Ohio for our first race. If you want to come out for the test session, I said it in the last video, and I'll say it again, you're allowed to. We're going to be there June 1st and 2nd. That is a Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be at Orlando Speed World testing. If y'all want to come out, all you got to do is bring an ice cold 12 pack and show up, have some fun. Just be respectful and know that we were there testing. We may not be able to answer every single question, but we will love having y'all out there. And maybe after we get done testing, we're going to be testing from 10 to 5. Maybe when we get done testing, we could possibly all go do something. So I'll get with Big Daddy Brian, I'll get with Eric, I'll get with Big Country, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, but y'all are all invited. Whoever wants to show up can come watch the car. Y'all basically get to see prenup run first out of everybody. So it'll be a pretty unique deal. And if nobody shows up, that's okay too. Y'all just keep liking the videos and dropping comments down below. But man, looking at this thing, it's been a, it's been a long, long process. Uh, dream has finally turned into a reality. Everything is coming together. I'm glad that we were able to get the car wrapped. I'm glad that uh, the great companies up here were able to get it wrapped, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a nice piece. Uh, there is some uh, deformed parts, I guess you wanna say, uh, that need to have a little bit of body work. 
but with the time schedule we're on we weren't able to get all the body work done so they had to throw the wrap on side it uh and you can see like right here i mean i don't know if you can see the camera but there's just little bumps and stuff but it's okay our plan is, is to be able to run good during the season maybe after the season we'll go ahead and rip the whole wrap off we'll have it all body worked in nice and smooth like a baby's bottom and then we will get it rewrapped again but uh it's it's awesome I'm, I'm loving it all right now that we got the door on we'll show you just how easily this thing shuts check that out looks awesome go ahead and get our uh, window latch the reason why we got a window latch inside the car is because we're going to be grinding extremely fast we don't want this window flopping if air gets behind the window it'll blow the whole entire window out so that's why you see my dad big country or big daddy brian come up here once we're done doing a burnout and everything and they go ahead and they lock the window down use this latch right here you can shut the door nice and easy i gotta get with brian he likes to slam my door and shit so i gotta make sure that uh he doesn't got that check out the lights they got inside here there's plenty of light the lights it up probably brighter than my future Ooh wee look at that bad boy thing's crazy Check out that thing. Zoomies even look good inside there. Got new wheels on. Coming together, guys. Y'all go ahead. If you ain't done it already, drop a comment down below. Let me hear. Hell yeah. We got new merch coming out soon. We got some cool shit happening. Got our only fans. I mean, we're, we're doing big things this year. And uh, we can't do it without y'all. So check out the, uh, the fuel tech. I never ran a fuel tech system inside the car, so this will be a new thing for us, but we're allowed to read a lot of stuff. You got brake pressure. This thing does have a brake pressure sensor. Uh, let you know what gear you're in, oil pressure, fuel pressure, everything. We will be giving y'all a rundown when, uh, later on on the channel about how the Liberty works. I'm still trying to, to learn all that. Back here is the dyno room. We've already showed y'all this before. But this is where prenup will be coming to be able to get put on the hub dyno we'll see exactly what kind of power she's going to make and good thing about the hub dyno is is uh you're allowed to uh basically troubleshoot everything before you go to the racetrack and just make sure you're not out there chasing your tail or anything but we're about to come back here real fast see what exactly they're working on it looks like they're uh drilling holes for an intake somewhere what are you building putting some nitrous bungs in a LS? Yeah. yeah. Should be pretty cool. Hell break yeah. The tap. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So we're doing nitrous bones here and then we're going to put injectors up on top. You know they sell that stuff already done, right? Well, not everyone has your kind of money. Stop it. I'm broke. Yeah, you are now. <laughs> He's done the most work on the car. What's been the most aggravating deal? It really wasn't too bad. The biggest stiff one stuff comes in and it's not like the right shit. Well, no, let no. know about the brakes. Yeah, that was <laughs> so we we ordered a carbon fiber uh, brake kit package. We put it on the car. We weren't able to put the uh, the brakes on the car at Cameron Johnson's because we didn't have the right bracket. So we overnighted brackets to Justin's shop. I was up here last week. We went to go put them on and we realized that yeah, so those were for billet brakes. Yeah, for billet deal. They didn't they didn't work. So they said, no big deal. We'll send you another set. So we went through the whole process, had to sit on phone for hours, got another set of brackets sent to us. They got here. They bolted up. So we thought we were in the driver's seat till we go to put the wheel on. And then what they happened? Sent, so they sent <laughs> the first time they were for billets. They're too small, 10 inch billets. The second time was for 11 inch, but they sent two lefts and not a left and a right. So well, yeah, we half so on. That deal, and then so then they sent the deal, and it was two less. So you weren't able to put the other one on, but now we got everything on. Good. Everything's on there now. What happened with the other brackets? I still have them. <laughs> we just got extra. That's, it's just that's for they don't make 10 inch brakes anymore. That's the, that's the biggest problem. So that's just all right. I want to see if you're gonna break this or not. Yeah, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Look at you, certified professional. That's right. You're supposed to blow certified on Certified amateur machinist. So anyways, back to the race car. Everything is on. The only thing that we got to do is just run the fuel lines and the oil lines down below. But like I said, that'll be getting done in the next 24 hours. And then we're going to start throwing oil inside it, throwing transmission fluid, our fluid that we got from Liberty. It was a special fluid. Had to call in, had to get it overnight ship, everything here. But we are almost ready to be able to light the pipes. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Trans brake. Pow. Thing's gonna be it's gonna be extremely nice extremely fast here's our weight bar tabs we kind of got an idea we threw it on scales um, car came in at 2215 um, it didn't have the wheelie bars on it and it didn't have fluids inside the car so I'm thinking with the wheelie bars and fluids is probably about 50 pounds so somewhere in that area so we're looking at like you know 2265 2270 and then I got to get inside the car. 300 pounds, so look at 2570. But the good thing about it is, is that we are running a non lockup. So we have to weigh 2770 or 2750, I'm sorry. 2750 for Street Outlaw No Prep King Season 4. That is what our base weight is uh, for the combo that we're going to be running with the non lockup. So we got to put like 200 pounds inside the car. So good thing about it is I already got with dad. I already told him we needed to go ahead and uh, get some lead ordered. He did. And uh, we'll be throwing that thing inside the car whenever we get it back home. We also got uh, the steering and everything aligned up front. That's why this uh, white line is on the, uh, the tire, the center of the tire. Basically, they painted it on there. And that's to be able to center everything up, the machine that they used. I wasn't here when they did it. But everything is centered on the rack everything is working a hundred percent up on the front end we got uh pans and everything that's got to get put up underneath uh the, the car we got to put the converter bolts in and drive shaft and finish doing all that once that it's all done then we will be able to uh fire this bad boy up this deal right here this is a wheelie control sensor it shoots a laser on the ground and basically what happens is, is uh if the car goes into a wheelie it's more for like a radial tire setup not really a big tire setup because you're riding on the bars out back but with a radial tire setup you don't have the bars back there if this thing was to go on a huge wheelie it'll yank a bunch of timing out the higher it goes up the more timing it pulls out so it's like a safety feature kind of helps the car sometimes you get too violent on a tune-up and it just goes ahead and just rockets right past it and you can't control it but for the most part um, if it's like slowly gradually raising in the air and uh, trying to ride a wheelie out It'll 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 slowly pull timing out to be able to let it come back down So you don't have to board a run. So like even we got the driver's side on now It's all fits nice and flush very nice Shuts nice and easy Put the window latch inside there. So anyways guys, uh, we're not gonna make this super long video Just wanted to let y'all know that we got a new color on the car cars coming along uh, very nice if you've been following along on the channel you have been a part of the build the whole entire time i appreciate each and every one of y'all if you're new here make sure you smash that subscribe button throw a like on this video drop a comment down below let me hear you say hell yeah and let's keep on growing uh we are almost to 50 000 subscribers we're almost at our first no prep race and i can't wait to be able to travel the world and meet every single one of y'all Prenup is coming together. It goes on the dyno within 24 hours. It'll be back in Florida being 100% put together and uh, serviced and ready to go inside the trailer, the stable, and heading over to Orlando Speed World. Again, you can come over there. You can come hang out. Make sure you bring your 12-pack of uh, brewskis. Come have some fun. Come watch prenup. Just be respectful that we are over there testing. We'll try to talk to y'all as much as we can. Me, Big Daddy Brian, Art, Tony, all of us will be over there. Big country, even Steve Petty himself. But I'm Justin Swanstrom. I will see y'all at the next video.